Don't be well, Evanson. And it's time to talk sports. It was a big day in sports right here in the Grand Valley. And first up, we start with some news from Central High School. The basketball court at Central's head basketball coach, John Sedanich, has resigned. Sedanich spent the last five seasons as the head man at Central High School, racking up 42 wins during that span. He also had a previous stint as Warriors head coach from 2004. And he's both a Central and CMU alumni. Long. Good luck to Coach Sedanich in his future endeavors. And from Central High School to Bronson Arena, where CMU basketball's mass exodus continues. The six more Mavericks have entered the transfer portal. Two-time RMAC Defensive Player of the Year, Mac Rineker, headlines a list that already included RMAC Player of the Year, Trevor Baskin. And so now seven total Mavs are officially in the portal, including all six of CMU's highest scores. All of this comes in the wake of the move for head coach Mike DeGeorge, who has taken the head coaching job at Division I Cal Poly. And this is the unfortunate price you sometimes have to pay in Division II. When you play as well as CMU did this past season, Division I comes calling. And we have had a big day in high school sports. Both the GJ Tigers and Fruita Wildcats in action in lacrosse, both at the same time on opposite ends of Cannon View Park, starting with a nice look at the Grand Mesa as Fruita battled Eagle Valley. And this one was tight. The Wildcats up just 7 to 6, but Alex Smiley ties it up here with a seed to the net. Then Smiley again creating space from the defender and putting it in to put Eagle Valley up one. Fruita looking to tie it here in the fourth quarter, but the Devils goalie Kyle Woodworth, he has the denial. A heck of a save, keeps EB up one, and immediately on the counterattack, a beautiful leaping shot by Peter Boyd puts Eagle Valley up two as they do enough to get by the Wildcats on the road with an 11 to 9 win. Meanwhile, on the other side of the park, we had another close one between Grand Junction and Boulder. And just as I was making my way from the other field, Tristan Britton puts it in as the Tigers get within one to make the score 10 to 9 Boulder. Then off the feed, it's Gavin Montram who gets it past the goalie. And just like that, we are tied at 10 with under two minutes to go. And the Tigers are fired up. But Boulder's goalie, Toby Benham, stood tall here. A great scooping stop keeps this one tied. And with under a minute to go, Arthur Hoverstock with a huge go ahead goal late to put the Panthers up 11 to 10. So one last chance here for GJ to tie it once again. And it is poked away and out of play. So Boulder gets possession. And just like we saw in Junction's last game, frustration mounted as things got chippy here late. A huge hit and a penalty. And so Boulder would have it late with the lead as they get the win in a super tight finish. The Tigers. We're actually down 5 nothing after the first quarter, but the Boulder Panthers escape Grand Junction with the 11-10 win. And from high school across to college across, well, I mean, you want to talk about domination. Doesn't get more dominant than this as CMU obliterates the winless Thunderwolves, perhaps unsurprisingly, 20-4. The Mavs are back at it at home Saturday against Adams State and at Armac Baseball in Denver. CMU can't hold on to their lead as they fall to the Regis Rangers. A great night of sports. Lots going on all right here in the Grand Valley. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.